Hello everyone, I am Alhamid and this is the Zoombit tutorial series. Today we will learn how to turn the Zoombit head using the servo motor that is attached to it. So bring the Zoombit guidebook and let's go to chapter 6. Here we will see how to use the servo motor to turn the Zoombit head. As usual, the first thing that we need to do after creating a new project is to add the zoom bit extension. Go to Recabit category and under the surface section, drag this block over here. You can change the rotation angle of the servo motor. Supposedly, 90 degree looks like this and if you change it, the angle will change accordingly. And then show the smiley icon on on start block now go to the input category and drag three of this on button pressed one two and we need one more three right this will be for button b and this for both button a and b pressed Let's start with on button A pressed. Go to Recabit extension and drag this block and change the value of the position to be 45 degrees. And then from the basic category, drag this block and draw this image on the LED screen. All right, we will be doing the same thing for block B, but this time, the position will be 135 and the image will be locks to the right side this way all right and now for the last block for both A and B buttons drag this block and keep it 90 degrees and then show the smiley icon so basically this image indicates the head is turning to the left side and this image indicates the head is turning to the right side and this one looking straight ahead let's download the code and try it together all right once we turn on the zoom bit the head that attached to the servo motor should move to the default position which is 90 degree if we click button a we will notice the head has moved with an angle of 45 degrees and if we press button b the head of the zoom bit will move to the right side with 135 degrees to go back to the default position you just need to press button a and b together in case if you press both of button a and b but your zoom bit doesn't look straight ahead, then you need to unscrew the head, reposition it, and then reattach it back to the servo motor horn. If after manually adjusting the head, you still find that it's turned slightly to the right or to the left, when it should be looking straight, you can correct it by making adjustment to your code. Let's see how to fix it. All right, create a new project and then on the variables category, make a new variable. I will call it angle correction. And then start by adding these blocks. Set the angle correction to be zero. So basically in this code, at the beginning, the variable of angle correction will be set to zero. 
On the forever block, every time the zone bit is tilted right, there is an arrow on the micro bit will go to the right side. And then, the variable of the angle correction will be increased by 1. And also, the position of the servo motor will be increasing by 1 every time the zone bit is tilted to the right side. If the zone bit is tilted to the left side, an arrow will be showing on the micro bit goes to the left side and the head of the zone bit will go to the left side. And once the logo of the micro bit is up and the zone bit is facing down, the reading value of the angle correction will be displayed on the LED. So let's download the code and try it out. Okay, now tilt the zone bit to the left or to the right, whichever applies to turn the head in that direction. In my case here, the zone bit head need to be a little bit adjusted to the left side. After that, hold the zone bit with logo up and zone bit's head facing down. So you can get the value of angle correction. In my case, the value is minus 12. Remember to record the reading so you can use it later on. Now, let's build the code again, and this time we will be using the value of angle correction that we had before. Now, as you notice, the zone bit is looking to the left, then to the right, and finally face straight ahead. Okay, so we have reached the end of today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any help, you may join us on the Telegram group. And now, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And until we meet again, keep learning and have fun.